Jessie V and today we're going to be talking about some Teletubby theories that people are freaking out about. Now I have had this video written down to film for the last year and a half. Tell me how I'm only doing this now. All of these theories that I'm about to talk about have been floating around the internet for the past little while and I know other YouTubers have done videos on this. It's been a pretty well-known thing but I've never covered it on my channel and I'd really really like to tell you guys about this and I can also sort of insert my opinion into these theories as well so get ready for Tinky Winky, Poe, Dipsy, Lala is there only four? <laughs> Anyways, get ready for them to blow your mind. So I think we can all agree that there's something very off about the Teletubby show. I watched it so much as a kid, like I probably never missed an episode, but I can't ignore the fact that every time I was watching, it gave me a weird vibe. It was like something wasn't quite right and tons of people around the world share this same feeling that I did and you probably did as well. They have noticed some things about the show that we're gonna be talking about today. It's kind of like Teletubby conspiracy theories, which is kind of a very weird topic to discuss, but we're gonna do it anyway. Some of these are theories, some of these are facts, just be prepared. The first thing you may or may not have known is that the Teletubbies are freakishly tall. I'm talking like they will tower over you in real life. It's crazy because when you were little watching this show, you probably thought the Teletubbies were these cute little creatures that you could just pick up and cuddle. And I mean, my sister and I had Teletubby dolls. I think I had the Poe one. My sister had Tinky Winky. And they were like this size. They were little tiny plushies. We kept them on our bed. They were so small. And I think when I watched the show, I just thought they would be that small in real life. Little did we know, Tinky Winky is 7 foot 11. He's taller than Barney. He's taller than like most people in the world. And because he's so tall, his costume weighs over 30, 40 pounds. Imagine carrying that heavy of a costume around with you all day. So all the Teletubbies range between 6 foot tall and 7 foot tall. Almost 8 feet tall. And obviously Poe is the shortest. He's 6 foot 6. He's, he's the shortest shortest of them all. So the people who are wearing these Teletubby costumes actually see and breathe out of the mouth hole. And I was reading about it and they can't wear these costumes for too long because carbon dioxide will start to build up inside of the costume. So they have to constantly take breaks. And it's so creepy because there's pictures of these Teletubbies on the set with the crew and they're just like towering over everybody. Now here is the craziest Teletubby conspiracy theory. And that is that the Teletubby are being controlled. Have you ever wondered what their backstory was? We never really know who they actually are, why they're there, why do they look so weird, why are they living in a hill? We never really get the answer to why. The history of them are never really explained, so they're constantly just these weird, mysterious aliens that we watch on TV. But one thing is for sure that people are realizing, and it's that they don't have control over their own destiny. In fact, they just don't have control at all. They have a female voice talking to them throughout the entire show, telling them when to eat, when to sleep, when to say goodbye. She's constantly giving them demands and instructions. Not to mention her loud robotic voice literally comes out of the ground and it makes you wonder what is under the grass? Where is this speaker and this woman's voice actually coming from? What lies beneath the Teletubbies? People are thinking the Teletubbies might actually be genetically engineered slaves and beneath their hill is a whole bunch of people who are watching their every move. Sort of like scientists living under their hill. Apparently the vacuum cleaner Nunu acts as the watchdog because he's constantly following them around, cleaning after their mess. Then there's the pinwheel that the Teletubbies seem to just worship every single day. Whenever it spins, they stop whatever they're doing and run towards it. It's almost like a weird, creepy ritual, like they stand around the pinwheel wheel and the pinwheel chooses which Teletubby it wants to like project the movie screen on and then the movie screen on their bellies show the Teletubbies the real world. They get a glimpse of what reality looks like and they get a glimpse of what they're training to enter. Then there's the sun baby, another way they're being watched and people are saying it's in the form of a baby so that the Teletubbies don't feel afraid of it. It's a way that they can be watched without being intimidated because imagine if like the sun was like a man face like what are you guys doing? They'd probably be terrified but because it's an innocent looking baby they don't consider it as being like 
watched. Either way, wherever they are, it's clearly away from the real world. They're being locked inside a place that was built just for them. A place that's temperature controlled, fully monitored. It's just a whole weird concept, this Teletubby show. And it seems like children watch this show just for the nonsense and the bright colors and the silly Teletubbies. They don't really think too deeply about what the show is actually about, but when you watch it as an adult, it almost seems like the show is warning people of the times to come about the dangers of cloning and genetic manipulation. People are saying that the Teletubbies is about the end of the world, so that's pretty deep. So people are hearing this theory and they're freaking out, they don't know what to think about it. So definitely let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think it's just a silly show with no deeper meaning or do you think it actually does have deeper meaning. The next thing we're going to talk about is the band episode. And you guys know on this channel, I have just like this fascination with band episodes, especially from kid shows. Now there was this episode called Seesaw, which had to be pulled from the air because it was really scaring children. It was about a lion and a bear cutout that was on wheels that just wheeled around and freaked people out. They were made of wood. They had sharp teeth, eyes. They moved around on their own. They had scary voices. For example, one of them kept saying, I'm the bear, I'm the bear, and I'm coming. And it would like roll around on these creepy wheels. It just really freaked kids out. The next thing that we're going to talk about is an actual fact, and that is that the house the Teletubbies lived in flooded in real life. Dipsy Lala, Tinky Winky, and Poe were filmed on the hill at a farm in Wimpstone, Warwickshire between 1997 and 2001. Now this hill that they used in the show was actually on someone's property in real life. Someone actually owned the land that this Teletubby Hill sat on. And people all around the world constantly wanted to go onto her property to see this Teletubby's hill. So people were trespassing, they were jumping fences, they were ruining her property. So she decided to get rid of this Teletubby's hill. She actually turned it into a little pond. So she flooded <laughs> the hill and made it into a pond. And that way no one would go onto her property anymore because there was no more or Teletubby Hill. And like, I get how frustrating that must have been for her, but like, it's gone now. The next point is that the rabbits on the show are actually ginormous because you have to think the Teletubbies are like seven feet tall, they're huge, which means they have to get bigger bunnies so that the Teletubbies look proportionate to nature. So they used rabbits called Flemish giants. And if you look at a picture of these things next to a human, they're absolutely ginormous, but if you put it next to a Teletubby, they look like normal size. You know what I mean? The next point is that the original Tinky Winky was fired. He was fired! The original Tinky Winky was portrayed by Dave Thompson and he was asked to leave at the end of the first season. When people ask why, the producers basically just say, this is their quote, his interpretation of the role was not acceptable. So whatever that means. It's just crazy to think that a Teletubby was fired. The next weird thing is that there is currently a show called, let me try and get this right, The Tiddly Tubbies. And these are apparently the baby versions of Teletubbies. It was created in 2015 and there's a bunch of these tiddly tubbies. Here are some of their names. Ping, Duggle D, Roo Roo, Umbi Pumbi, Dada, Mimi, Ba, and Nin. Okay. <laughs> but people just find this like so creepy that they have baby Teletubbies now because that means the original Teletubbies got together and had babies. <laughs> Then there is the Teletubbies and Harry Potter fan theory. Now this one just seems a little bit too much for me, but I'll tell you guys anyways. So if you look at all the rods at the top of their heads, apparently if you put all of the Teletubbies together, they form the Deathly Hollows. <laughs> now there are four Teletubbies, so apparently Lala just represents Harry Potter because the top of her head looks like his scar. Tinky Winky is the invisibility cloak, Dipsy is the elder wand, and Poe is the resurrection stone. So if they stand all together, they literally form the Deathly Hollows. That is so random. Did she get inspiration from the Teletubbies? Like, people are saying they're connected somehow, but I don't really know if I believe that. And the last conspiracy theory is about the scary baby son. Now, people are saying that when you see that scene where the baby's like laughing, I think it's at the beginning of the show, 20 seconds in, the baby goes from smiling to looking really scary. And I think I've covered this theory on my channel before because I just have a memory of it, but I'll show you guys a little sequence and it shows the baby looking so normal, so happy, and then towards the end he's like, 
that people are freaked out about it. I think this just might have been the baby going from laughing to screaming or something and it just makes him look kind of scary, but who knows? Let me know what you guys think. Anyways though, those are all of the Teletubby facts and conspiracy theories that we're going to be talking about today. Let me know if I missed any or which ones you found the creepiest. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!